Don't you just love the Brainium Basher upgrade for Super Brains? I mean, what could be more satisfying than being insta vanquished over and over again by the most balanced and skill based upgrade Battle for Neighborville has to offer? I can't imagine just how much joy a new player must feel when jumping into their first multiplayer match, just to be met with a swarm of Brainium Bashers gliding across the air like beautiful ballerinas strapped to the front of a steam train, dishing out bags of toxicity and giving you more slap slaps than you can possibly handle. But if that sounds like the stuff of nightmares to you, do not fear. In this video, I'll be sharing six tips that are going to help you fight back against these flying menaces. Number one, potato mines. Since the September 2020 update, Cactus has been able to have a whopping six potato mines active at any one time, and due to its high damage output of 175, it can instantly kill a Brainium Basher, no questions asked. Place these either around the map in random spots, and you may catch a Brainium Basher off guard, or or alternatively, when you see one hunting you down, place a potato mine at your feet and in your immediate area to provide protection. But remember, cactus can only plop out a max of four potato mines at once, so I would always recommend keeping one back just so you have an emergency mine with you at all times. The one issue though is that Brainium Basher can fly, and with potato mines only being able to be placed on the ground, it means they can either completely avoid them or spot them from above. This means you need to be creative with your placement. Try to obscure them with surrounding foliage or similar colours, yellows or oranges, to make your potato mines more camouflaged. Hide them in unsuspecting spots, around corners, or if you want to be super sneaky, you can place them inside zombie minion spawn piles, as it makes the mine very difficult to see. But of course, this only really works for turf takeover game modes. The Brainium Basher upgrade thrives in open spaces where enemies have little to no cover. Whilst they move at high speeds, once they start going in one direction, they can't change mid-bash. Therefore, I'd suggest making sure you have some kind of cover when going up against them, preferably something you can go all the way around like a pillar for example, or try and lure them into an indoor area to limit their mobility and finish them off with a potato mine. The only problem is the turbo twister ability that could cause you issues, but if you keep your emergency mine ready, just place it at your feet and you might be able to blow them up before you get vanquished. Number two, EM Peach. One of the best ways to deal with Brainium Bashers is to take away one of their biggest strengths, mobility. Citron's EM Peach ability is perfect for this due to it being able to stun zombies for a short period of time. By default, this doesn't really last long enough to vanquish a Brainium Basher, unless they're already on low health of course, but if you equip the Peached ability, this increases the duration enemies are stunned for if you get a direct hit, giving you a much better chance to either eliminate the Super Brains or escape. I'd also suggest waiting until the Brainium Basher gets near, or at least close to the ground, as trying to get a direct hit whilst they are mid-air will be pretty difficult. Number three, Thorn Apart. Why not fight fire with fire and use one legendary upgrade to defeat another? Rose's Thorn Apart upgrade allows you to combine a large amount of damage with the effectiveness of a lock-on heat-seeking missile. Brainium Bashers can move around so erratically and at such speed, it makes them near impossible to hit mid-flight. Thorn Apart makes this much easier and with all five orbs at the ready, you can do 100 damage or 130 if you combine it with Jinx and then use a couple of extra shots to finish them off. I'm sure Thorn Apart used to do a lot more damage so it's not foolproof, but if all else fails, you have Arcane Enigma to help you escape if the going gets tough. Number four, Pogo P. Whilst initially and probably still hated by many a BFM player, the Pogo P strategy is an effective way to evade and deal with Brainy and Basher. The agility and increased speed, especially when using P souped and jumping around almost randomly, makes you very difficult to hit. If you combine this with good old homing P to help make your shots easier to land and last ditch to give you an extra bit of power, this should help you in many Brainium Basher encounters. Number five, Nightcap and Acorn. Continuing the theme of agility, because of their small size, Nightcap and Acorn can be really great counters. Whilst you might not necessarily always be able to vanquish a Brainium Basher with these characters, as you have a high risk of being insta-vanquished, but both of them are certainly great for evasion due to their speed and dash type abilities. Keep moving and watch out for the common Super Brains combo of going from Hyper Jump Thump into Turbo Twister. As soon as you see a Brainium Basher going into a jump, either be ready with Fung Fu to potentially catch them off guard when they land, the Fleet Footed upgrade also helps with this, or use a dash just to get out of the way. Number 6, Snappers and Chomsky. 
The next two characters are a lot less about evasion and speed, but more so about dealing with problems head on with a lot of damage. Starting with our beloved Chomper, if you are able to, a good old fashioned burrow will of course deal with a Branium. But trying to catch one will be tricky, and even if you do manage to get one, it'll leave you quite vulnerable. So perhaps a more effective solution in this case is limiting their movement and preventing their use of abilities for a brief time using Grody Goop with the Dirt Bath upgrade equipped. This upgrade basically supercharges Chomper's Goop, giving you added bonuses such as increased Chomp and movement speed whilst you are inside the area of the Goop, helping you take down enemies very quickly. Also, if you pair this with the Face Bite perk that allows you to get critical hits with Chomps, as well as the Chomp Thing upgrade that improves health regeneration, you have a very strong loadout to deal more damage and increase survivability. Then we have the powerhouse that is Snappers. Whilst not the most agile of characters, Snapdragon can do a hell of a lot of damage very quickly. If you are able to keep out the way of the unrelenting Brainium body slams, the flame blower can take them down in no time. The blue blazes is also very useful here as like with Thorn Apart, it has a lock on effect. In terms of upgrades, I would recommend either Heat Seeking, Excellent Accelerant and Ventilation to improve the effectiveness of Blue Blazes and increase the length of time enemies are on fire for. Alternatively, you could use the Eternal Flame loadout, which I have done a separate video on. The link is on screen now. So there you are guys, six tips to help counter the deadly Brainium Basher. I hope you found these useful. I know I'll be attempting to use these in my live streams, but knowing me, even with these tips, I'll still get my book kicked. I also just wanted to say a big thank you to Tebby107 and Honor Phoenix for sending me across many of the strategies I have talked about in this video. Anyway, that's it from me. Let me know what your favorite tip was in the comments below. And if you have any others, I'd love to hear them. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. And if you do want to support the channel further, check out my Patreon page by clicking on screen now or through the link in the description. But other than that, I will see you in the next one. Okay, thanks guys. Bye. Bye.